Gentlemen, Chair, and I recognize the gentlelady from Washington, Ms. Strickland, for five minutes. Thank you, Chairman. This is for <laughs> Secretary Austin. Um, I continue to be concerned about housing costs for service members and their families. And serving Joint Base Lewis McCord, which is in the metropolitan Seattle Tacoma area, it's one of the fastest growing regions in the entire United States, and housing is at a premium. The department currently gives service members 95% of their calculated housing allowance. Last year, I was pleased to introduce the Basic Allowance for Housing Restoration Act, which will ensure that service members receive their full BAH. I'm encouraged by your recent memo to strengthen our support to service members and their families. As you know, they have to have their basic needs met at a minimum because this is directly tied to readiness. So can you please discuss your current thinking on how we fully restore BAH to 100% and your work to support service members and their families? Oh, well, thank you. And uh, closer to you so I can see. Yeah, I, this, I, I, I've heard you. I've heard uh, our troops, our families. And, and I know this is important, and this is a thing I've asked for, you know, our, uh, the panel that will do the review of uh, military compensation to, to look further into to see what's in the realm of the possible. But, uh, but I, I know that this is a concern, and I would say that uh, we'll do everything we can to make sure that we're taking additional stress uh, off our families and off our troops. Great, thank you very much. And I have one more question to talk about the role of diversity and inclusion in readiness. So I grew up as an army brat. My father joined a military, an army that was segregated. And when President Truman desegregated the troops in 1946, that was controversial at the time. It was, people met it with a lot of skepticism. And given some of the language that I've heard around this conversation in the military, some people would call that woke. But we also know that there was a very strategic and specific reason that President Truman did that. So can you talk specifically about how DEI is good for the military, recognizing that 40% of those who are enlisted are people of color, but making sure that we are doing what we can to help them with promotion, with military justice, and to make sure that they are treated fairly, just like my father wanted to be? Well, we'll we remain grateful for your father's service. Um, we are a diverse nation. Our military should look like uh, the nation that it defends, and it does. And uh, I think, uh, you know, I truly believe that diversity makes us stronger. It brings different uh, uh, cultures, different ideas together, and, uh, and we set a great example for the world wherever we go. Um, as you know, uh, Congress, with the 2020 NDA, directed the Secretary of Defense uh, to develop a strategic uh, diversity uh, and inclusion plan. Uh, and that was done in 2020. We're following that plan. Um, and again, as we follow that plan, you, we allocate resources to make sure that we're doing the right thing. In terms of promotions, we promote best qualified. Uh, the question is always uh, whether or not, uh, you know, we have the the processes and procedures in place to ensure that, you know, we have a, 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 a competitive space remains, uh, remains just that, competitive. You can, if, you, if you have the talents, if you're willing to work, uh, then, then you will achieve your goal. And, and you should understand what that pathway is to, uh, to success as well. So we not only have to provide opportunity, but leaders should be mentoring and coaching uh, along the way. So. Well, thank you very much, Secretary Austin. And for me, when I talk about diversity and inclusion in promotion opportunity, it goes without saying that the people who are seeking those promotions are, in fact, qualified. Thank you, sir. I yield back. Thank you, gentlelady. Chair, and I recognize the gentleman.